Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to get a Game Boy Advance and a Nintendo DS emulator. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser of choice and go to this link. I'll be posting that in the info, don't worry about that. Up at the top, there's the info about it. And down here is how to play multiplayer. And right here is the actual emulator itself. Click on that. It's for Windows only. And hit open with whatever you extract files with. I already have mine so I'm not going to do that. You're going to want to extract it to your desktop. You're going to want to create a new folder. And you're going to want to name it Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS emulator once it's in there it'll look something like this these two only and it won't have anything else in here if, if it's a brand new folder and the reason why you want to put it in its own folder is because battery and slot open up on their own they're created as soon as you play and battery holds all of your saves so that way you don't have to restart on a video game and I'm not sure what slot does, but I'm not going to delete that, just to be careful, you know. And then there will be a readme. You don't have to read it. All it does is tell you a little bit of info. And this is what the emulator itself looks like. Now, after you have those, you're going to be needing some games. You're going to want to go to coolrom.com. Yes, it rhymes, I know. And you're going to be going to ROM files, Game Boy Advance, or Nintendo DS. I'm getting a Game Boy Advance game because my computer can't run DS games. My computer's from 2002. And you're going to be going to any game of your choice. A through Z. Every time you click on a letter, it goes to every game that they have that starts with that letter. And I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like when you don't know them. And there's screenshots right here. There's the game info on the side. It says the game, what its name is its file size, what system it's for, how many downloads that file has had, and its rating. Now it'll look like this when you haven't rated it yet. It will say rate it, you click on it, five is the best, one is the worst, and there's every number in between. And once you do that, it'll refresh the page, and it will say please wait download link will appear in however many seconds if you refresh the page if you don't it'll probably be there by the time that you are done looking at that once you've clicked on download your file this will pop up and you're going to want to open it with whatever you extract files with extract it to the folder that your emulator is in and it will look something like this. There will be at least one of these GBA files. Game Boy Advance's GBA. And you're going to want to double click on the game that you downloaded. It will open up a little window like this. You can enlarge it. I'm going to turn the sound off here. And you will be able to play you're going to have to change up the options and you're going to also have to do this every time that you open up the emulator if it's in full screen like this if you hit maximize the window do not hit save options if you have your own options in there if you do and it's in full screen it will freeze and it will break your emulator 
So, for example, I'll show. Notice how it's not a small window like it was before. And once you click on anything, it'll go to where it's not responding anymore. Windows is going to have to shut it down for me. And in order to make it not do that anymore, every time you open it up, it's going to do that if you have done what I did. In order to make it not do that anymore, you're going to have to right click on this new file that was made. It's configuration settings file. And you're just going to have to delete it. And there you go. Notice I had one item in my recycle bin. That's why I said two items. But if you have got a DS file, it's going to be different. Once you open up the DS file with your emulator, it's going to look like this. Once it's done loading, it'll look like this. Top screen, touch screen. The save data could not be accessed. Please turn off the power and reinsert the DS card. In order to fix that, you're going to have to go to options, click on emulation setup. I'm just turning the sound off right here. That's not necessary to fix it and you're going to go to the bottom right here and it'll say Nintendo DS cartridge backup media from there click on the arrow that's next to it go to flash 256k bytes hit OK go to file reset cartridge and there you go it'll start working notice there's no way to increase the size of the DS which is sad but it's still fun to play the DS anyway so that's it hope you enjoy playing these games hope you enjoyed watching the video rate comment subscribe see you later